everyone and welcome to a new video from Your Destiny. I'm Eddie the Jump and today we're going to talk about weapon and armor mods. Now a lot of credit for some of the ideas I put forwards in this video belong to Tefty Tef and the rest of the Destiny community podcast team and Triple Rec. In last week's podcast, the mod system was a topic for conversation and I found the conversation really inspiring. It's linked in the description below, so go check it out if you haven't already. The first thing I want to say is that I think there is a tremendous amount of potential in the mod system. How it currently functions with limited scope and scale is not not that great however. On kinetic weapons all it really means is that you can add 5 power to your weapon. You can change the element of the energy and power weapons which might be useful but overall it's exceptionally narrow as a system. Now I was under the impression before the game released that we were going to be able to change a weapon from energy to kinetic and vice versa. Just that change alone would open up so many options for how you could set up your guardian and before we go any further I do think it's worthwhile in saying that this is very early in the game's life cycle. That change may well be coming we just don't don't know. Imagine having the ability to change whatever gun you wanted into whatever element you wanted. Energy better devils anyone? Instantly better. Now one way in which the system could be further developed is by letting you add weapon perks in the form of mods to weapons. Essentially you could give any weapon less recoil or further range or better handling or any other perk stat. Maybe even different sights. This would make up for the static rolls on guns. It would be great to be able to change a gun in subtle ways to personalize them. Then the right mods would be highly sought after. The chase dynamic would be back. The guns themselves don't change, how we kit them out would fluctuate. There's inherent balance there, because it would be forcing the player to decide what extra benefit they wanted at the expense of all the others. Maybe there's even exotic mods, ones that have an upside and a downside. There's so much you could do with that sort of system. Like everything in Destiny 2, the great foundations are there, but the implementation of that system is kind of watered down. We're crying out for complexity, Bungie. Not a massively intransient system that would confuse everyone, but an impactful one that made us make hard decisions. I have to be brutally honest here, when I first heard about the mod system before the game was released, this is what I thought was going to materialise. It still may do in future DLCs. Let's hope Osiris brings with him a load of sick new mods we've never seen before. But really, we shouldn't have to hope like that. Moving on to armour mods, I'm in agreement with everyone from the podcast. Bungie have two options, either allow players to change the mobility, resilience and recovery stats in whatever fashion they want using mods so that they can have any build they want on any class, or they can double down on the limitations of each class's statistical tendencies to make them truly distinct. I guess part of the problem is that one stat is way better than all the others. Recovery is by far and away the most important for a lot of applications and Warlocks have the easiest access to it. Surprise, surprise! Let's cover both options. If you make people be able to have any armor build that they want, then the game is more balanced, especially for PvP. If you make them more distinct, then resilience and mobility need to have way more impact on how they make your guardian feel than they currently do. While we're at it, can we just get rid of the whole only certain mods can be equipped to certain armor pieces mechanic? That's just a barrier to having your build be what you actually want, it's unnecessary. As for all the recoil mods and the like that currently go into armor, just move those over to the new weapon system that I mentioned earlier. The class ability and grenade cooldown mods can stay on armor for sure. Just have armor mods affect your armor and weapon mods affect your weapon, it's much more straightforward. I could go on an epic rant about how annoying mods are to create and manage for your inventory, but to be fair, the other concerns are much more important at the moment. I will say though, getting that kinetic mod to drop for your weapon can be incredibly frustrating, needlessly so. Oh and another thing that needs addressing is the glimmer cost of creating and applying mods. It's way too high. It really makes the whole process feel too RNG for me. One thing that I think could be interesting is if you tie together a challenge mechanic with a particular mod. I loved the medal system in the strikes at the end of Destiny 1. What if you link small challenges like that to mods? Kill 50 scions to get a kinetic recoil mod, or melee 30 the enemies without reloading to get a melee cooldown armor mod, that sort of thing. There used to be so much more macro questing in Destiny that is sadly not present anymore. Bounties need to return in some way I feel. The mod system could be the place where that fits. Like I said at the beginning of the video, with a few small tweaks the mod system could be transformed from basically irrelevant to deeply compelling. Let me know in the comments if you agree and if you have any ideas for how Bungie could develop the system further that I haven't mentioned, share it. We really look forward to reading your input. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please don't forget to leave a rating. If you never want to miss out on another video of ours again please click the bell icon next to the subscribe button on our channel to join the notification squad you'll be in good company. And finally please check out the Your Destiny Twitter so where you can find updates about new videos and other cool stuff. I've been Eddie the Chump and until next time 